see. There he stands, not brave, but with an air of sullen stupor. Mark him well. Is he not more like brute than man? Look in his eye no light is there, none, save the glint that shines in the now glaring, and now shifting orbs of some wild animal caught in the hunter's trap how came this beast in human shape and form speak, man. We call you man because you wear his shape how are you thus? Are you not from that docile, childlike, tender-hearted race which we have known three centuries? Not from that more than faithful race which through three wars fed our dear wives and nursed our helpless babes without a single breach of trust? Speak out I am, and am not. Then who, why are you I am a thing not new, I am as old as human nature. I am that which lurks, ready to spring whenever a bar is loosed, the ancient trait which fights incessantly against restraint, balks at the upward climb, the weight forever seeking to obey the law of downward pull, and I am more the bitter fruit am I of planted seed, the resultant, the inevitable end of evil forces and the powers of wrong lessons in degradation, taught and learned, the memories of cruel sights and deeds, the pent-up bitterness, the unspent hate filtered through fifteen generations have sprung up and found in me sporadic life. In me the muttered curse of dying men, on me the stain of conquered women, and consuming me the fearful fires of lust, lit long ago, by other hands than mine in me the down crushed spirit, the hurled back prayers of wretches now long dead, their dire bequests, in me the echo of the stifled cry of children for their bartered mother's breasts I claim no race, no race claims me, I am no more than human dregs, degenerate, the monstrous offspring of the monster, sin, I am just what I am. Dot. The race that fed your wives and nursed your babes would do the same today, but I enough, the brute must die. Quick! Chain him to that oak. It will resist the fire much longer than this slender pine now bring the fuel. Pile it round him. Wait pile not so fast or high, or we shall lose the agony and terror in his face and now the torch. Good fuel that. The flames already leap head high. Ha! Hear that shriek and there's another. Wilder than the first fetch water. Water, pour a little on the fire, lest it should burn too fast. Hold so now let it slowly blaze again. See there he squirms. He groans. His eyes bulge wildly out, searching around in vain appeal for help another shriek, the last. Watch how the flesh grows crisp and hangs till, turned to ash, it sifts down through the coils of chain that hold erect the ghastly frame against the bark scorched tree. Stop to each man no more than one man's share you take that bone, and you this tooth, the chain let us divide its links, this skull, of course, in fair division, to the leader comes and now his fiendish crime has been avenged, let us back to our wives and children. Say, what did he mean by those last muttered words, brothers in spirit, brothers indeed are we.